Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all having a very good weekend. Welcome to our weekly Lunk Spaces. We've got a very special spaces today. We'll be talking everything Lunk as usual, uh, talk about what's been happening in Luna Classic. Uh, we've got Vegas here. We'll talk about ter Teratrium. Hopefully, I'll be pronouncing that name uh, uh, as we go on correctly. Uh, also, there's been a nice repeg proposal from Vegas. We'll uh, discuss that proposal with Vegas. Uh, we've got Jewish Protocol as well. Uh, we'll talk to Luna Lunatic, what he's been working on. And um, if you guys have any questions, uh, do come up. Uh, I'll try and invite Rexy as well, um, talk about... The Burns that he's talking about with the Terra Civita and Terra Casino. And then after the introductions, uh, maybe after half an hour, we'll open up the spaces. If you guys want to come up, talk about your meme coins, got any questions from myself, uh, Jewish Protocol, Vegas, Rexy, or whoever that comes up, you're welcome to come on. So welcome to the spaces. Uh, hi, Vegas. How you doing? Long time no speak. Hello, hello. I'm good. And you? Yes, not bad. Um, I think it was like a year ago last time we spoke, but uh, good to have you here. And I read your proposal, and then I think I, you posted something else about um, going to a new chain, is it? I mean, maybe I need to... No, 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 no. no. Okay, this is absolutely perfect to, to try to clear up the my idea of um, very, very, very controversial idea of... Um, let's call it this way. So we have a problem, yeah? We have a lot of problems, uh, but one of the problems is that we have a lot of supply. And uh, for example, this week we just uh, saw almost a billion USCC being burned, and some people are concerned, some people are not concerned um, that these funds could be owned by someone or not, whatever. Uh, in my view, um, we always should give the option yeah, or at least try to give the option to the person to claim that that funds or not. Um, so imagine this. So instead of us trying to guess all the wallets, and um, this work was already done last year to identify um, a lot of wallets that we know that are zombie wallets, that are dead contract wallets, uh, but there's much more of whatever we already identify as, as uh, wallets that can be burned, contracts that can be burned, um, is more than that. It's more than the ones that we, we identify. I identify one, but just by mistake, when I was checking the, the pools on Coin Hall, yeah, and uh, I saw was a massive uh, liquidity pool uh, on TerraSwap, and I was thinking, okay, they do not have this amount of liquidity there. Then I went to try to understand what was that pool, and then I found out that was from a dead protocol. But I got I got it by by by, by chance. To be fair, it's well do documented. That's why I even um, I even talk about that that uh, contract on the repack plan because I think will be a great start to utilize it for the USDC staking. Uh, but let's let's separate the things. So we know that a, a couple of wallets, a couple of contracts, we can uh, burn them, in quotes. We can uh, go for it and no one is going to, to annoy us with that. But it's more wallets, it's more contracts, yeah? But instead of us trying to guess everything, why don't we, in, in quotes, force everyone on the community to acknowledge that they are alive. And I was speaking with a very, very technical person here on, on this chain, uh, and very poor as well. So uh, he's, a very, he's very concerned about this. And it's true. There's a lot of things that could go slightly wrong regarding this, this topic. Uh, it could be a centralized position that someone uh, abuses the, the, the position that he's doing. So the person that creates the gate could abuse that power. Uh, could be uh, that uh, some people cannot uh, swap in time and they will lose all the long. Um, many things that could go wrong. So what I was thinking in my head is, um, imagine that uh, you have um, your wallet, yeah, uh, is not staked. So let's take out the, the, the ones that are not staked. So, uh, and uh, tomorrow we open this uh, new gate. This new gate, uh, will say to you, okay, you have to swap your uh, tokens to this new token. It's going to be one-to-one. -one. Simple as that, yeah? So your tokens are locked, yeah? And you get this new token. This new token that is LUNK, basically is LUNK, the same thing. The idea is that now you 
uh, verify that your wallet is active. Yeah, but maybe maybe um, a wallet with ten billion dollar, uh, ten ten billion lungs or whatever, you will never do that. Okay, now comes the question of people saying, "Oh, but uh, some people they normally uh, stake the the coin, the, they 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 leave the coins, and uh, they they don't even stake the coins because uh, of tax uh, invasion stuff like that." Okay, so instead of just allowing for that person to um, to utilize the gate for three months, yeah, uh, when the gate is closed for that uh, for that uh, f after the three months or whatever we decide, uh, six months or whatever, uh, we allow three years, for example, to manual transfers to be to be uh, to be done, to manual migrations to be done. So imagine that that person that has that ten billion but never touch the, 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 the coins because of uh, tax invasion, whatever he's trying to do, um, or because he forgot, you will still have three years to later on to change that coins. Uh, we have to pay attention in a lot of things. So staking, do we want to take to touch that? Absolutely not. So we create a condition. If this uh, wallet uh, was staked and he uh, got rewards in the last uh, two years, or basically he, um, he claimed the rewards in the last two years, is active. So it will be migrated automatically uh, in the end of the of the of the opening of the window. Um, uh, Oracle pools, community pools, all of that, of course, will be migrated automatically. Uh, so what we intend to do with this? What we intend to do with this is to to stop these conspiracies. Oh, this money is uh, is from um, from Binance, or is from uh, this dude, or is from that, or is dead, or is not dead. We will know exactly the total supply and the circulation supply that each coin has if we do something like this. Yeah. So uh, we could we could stop all the conspiracies. We could reduce the the, the circulation supply uh, or the the total supply of the two coins. To more than 50% or even more on USDC, some 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 people say that that we only have 30% of of the of the and not now because we just got 10 less. So maybe 60% of what we have now is just dead contacts, dead dead wallets. So imagine what this could do for the project, what this could do to the price, what could do to the whole ecosystem. You know, uh, it's very controversial. I know uh, some people don't want to touch something like this. Uh, they are scared that some people are not going to pay attention to the opening of this window. They will uh, lose their lung. Um, I don't share that that concern. Uh, as a miner, as a, when I was miner uh, of Ethereum and a lot of chains uh, that that we utilize, something that we have to always pay attention is not the price. It's not the the price of the coin. It's not nothing. Is if it was any kind of update. Because uh, you could be mining a uh, shitcoin, yeah. Because Ethereum was not uh, profitable this month or whatever, so you change to a different coin. But you always have to pay attention if they are migrating the 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 the, the, the chain to to a different to a different chain because they are updating something, whatever. So that was always something that technically all the miners have to pay attention because sometimes you will really lose the the coins. Normally, this. Uh, window is open for a month and they then allow some manual transfers in some special cases. On our situation specifically, we have first a lot to think regarding, because we are listed in a lot of uh, uh, centralizing changes, um, we have third, third applications that, that will need to know this in advance and um, yeah, we have a lot of users as well. So even if we decide to do something like this, technically it's not very hard, but uh, we'll have to tell everyone in advance, yeah, and when the time to open the window or basically the gate um, comes, let's say three or six months open, uh, and after that we will have to allow some special manual transfer, uh, transfer migrations. Uh, if someone forgot, I don't know, maybe three years or something like that um, to happen. But yeah, it's a tiny bit controversial, I know. <laughs> yeah, and to me, I think it's a bit far-fetched as well. Um, like when I read your USDC repack stuff, I think those are things we should probably focus on now. Um, when I read that, I was like, I like the idea because like you mentioned, we always argue, oh, can we burn this wallet? This is an idle wallet. Can we use this? Um, so doing what you suggested uh, could really help with that. But I also think that it's a bit far-fetched maybe. 
Uh, Farfetch, what do you mean? Uh, it's like uh, impossible to do. Like not, uh... not impossible, but it's uh, mm. idea is probably a bit harder or a bit maybe later on we think about it. Um, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I think we, yeah, you are right. I think we could explore other other ideas uh, at the moment because this one is very highly controversial in terms technically doing this uh, is not yeah doing this uh, this uh, is, is not a is not a big job that but on the other side the coordination of all of this how are you going to work with the just thinking one centralized exchange how are we going to do something like this yeah how are we going to we, we stop the withdrawals we we stop the deposits during these three months? No, of course not. It doesn't make any sense. So um, yeah, they will have to do this in advance. So in terms of coordination, it's a tiny bit stretch because we are a big chain and we are listed everywhere and a lot of users and a lot of organizations have our, our coin. So um, yeah, it was, if one day we go this way, the big challenge here is the moral side, is the, um, the centralization side of the, the, the tool itself being used and uh, the coordination side that's absolutely imperative to 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 nail that uh, but like you are saying yes it's something that that uh, i hope that someone gives a better option for us to decrease the 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 supply uh in a way that uh, completely eliminates all the dead uh weight that we have on our backs uh without a need of a migration of chain but um when i say migration of chain be careful i'm not saying for us to fork the chain and do two chains or whatever no is literally just making sure that okay my wallet is alive guys uh, the this contract is alive everything else is dead perfect we have less supply let's go but yes you are right it's uh, it's still far away even if we decide to do it today yeah in my head we will need to announce this one year before yeah it will definitely take time but no we've got straight into the details on this basis but usually what we do to start is talk about luna classic um, and just the key news this week. Uh, for me, the biggest news this week uh, for Luna Classic has been the 726 million USDC burnt from Anchor Protocol. Um, I believe the pr proposal went up from HT Crypto. Um, it passed, barely passed. Uh, 726 million got burnt, which is great. Um, it all adds, it all supports what we're trying to do with the repay plan, one from Vegas. I've seen another one go live as well. Um, with all the burns that's happening with um the, the TFL, uh, LFG stuff that's happening by end of October, I believe. If we can have a repeg plan idea that the community supports, it can really um, get the, you know, get the, we can catch on the momentum. And um, there's also on top of that, there's the mirror protocol burn, about 40 million or 50 million USTC. There was a, a failure in execution. Uh, I'm assuming there'll be a reproposal that goes up um, and then hopefully we can get those burnt as well. So for me, uh, this week, that was the big news from the Luna Classic. Um, Rexy or Juris, have you guys got anything to add? Any big news I've missed out from Luna Classic? Mm. Hello there, thanks for holding this mate. Um, I'm driving, so if it sounds a little bit kind of odd, that's a, that's a reason. So can you hear me all right? Yes, just about. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's something then. Um, I'm in the mountains of Lincolnshire at the minute. It's pretty mountainous where we live. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, so just the question was, uh, anything on Lunax Classic this week that the community needs to be aware of uh, on top of the burns that we've saw? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, in terms of, you know, Terraport, we, uh, we had the game that was launched this week, um, you know, with Rocket. And it's quite a good game, actually. I've played it a few times myself. It's, I'm not really one for playing games. I just don't really have the time for it. But uh, I had a bit of a go at that, and I thought, you know, that's, it's not a bad little game. You, you know, it just takes, uh, well, it takes as long as what it takes for you to get kind of killed, I guess, really. But um, <laughs> for me, that's not very long. But I actually, you know, play a bit of that, and I play a bit of uh, Terra Tritium as well. I quite like that as a bit of a time-lapse type of game. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's the main thing that's kind of been sort of released there. Um, yeah, and, you know, so we're going to have a bit of a chat about the new initiative from uh, Terra Casino uh, a little bit later on in the, what you call it, spaces of the show. So, yeah, I thought it was an interesting one in terms of uh, burning anchor and mirror. Um, in terms of Terra, Terra Savita, we left it right up to the last few minutes before we voted. Um, 
and it wasn't an easy vote to take. I'm not really a big one for for kind of burning contracts and wallets and all this kind of sort of stuff. Um, but I'm very mindful of the of the Terraport hack and all the users' funds there that could have been rescued off the chain, and they wasn't. And the last thing I would want to see is somebody who's got money that's trapped somewhere or they can't get it out, lost. And I thought actually burning it and giving them people the opportunity to apply for it to be reminted would actually be the safer option for them rather than it effectively maybe being stolen or forgotten about, lost, you know, maybe obtained through all the kind of means, um, you know, by a, a rogue kind of person and it being lost forever. So, you know, I did have I did have a couple of kind of challenges to why we voted that way, but for me, it seemed to be the best option for those investors, which I can fully understand if people had a different view to that as well. Cool. Thanks, Rexy. Uh, Lunatic, how are you doing? Hey, Rocco. Hey, Rexy. Hey, guys. Vegas, nice to see you again. I think we didn't talk for a long time. I'm doing fine, man. I'm enjoying my Sunday with my girl. My girlfriend uh, had some... I didn't look at my phone for literally like eight hours or so. <laughs> I think it um, was rare this week, so um happy to be here. Uh, I have to leave in about an hour, a little bit less than an hour, because uh, we're going to get Indian food and have like date night, so I apologize to everybody if I have to leave later. Um, other than that, everything has been uh, good this week, I guess. Like, I had the stress of my life, but it um, seems that everything worked out at the end. We were able to collect all the, uh, like, not collect funds, but uh, get, like, everything um, prepared to collect the funds for the lending protocol. Um, we have the audit going on with solid proof, um, chatted with them. And chart is also looking good. Um, DJ didn't want to post the picture to not jinx it because he said every time he's posting chart pics, uh, people start to dump. So I did it on his behalf. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy, man. Cool. Sounds good. Um, so let's move on to Vegas. Uh, a question I've got from you before we talk about the repeg. You know, you've been in Luna Classic since the start, right? I think you're one of the guys that got me involved. You talk, told me about the burns and then... Um, the staking going live and it's been a crazy run. Um, so my question to you is like, what's your thoughts on how the community was initially two years ago, a year and a half, whenever it started to now? Um, what's, your thinking, what, what's going on? Okay. Uh, first of all, you said about the staking and uh, one more news that, that we got this week is that we just broke uh, all time high in terms of uh, staking. Woo! So um, yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, <laughs> impressive. Is really impressive because um, just regarding the stick in itself, uh, at the time, I will see people a tiny bit more nervous and trying to say, okay, maybe this is going to go up, I will sell. No, people are trusting more the projects. So uh, seeing seeing people staking more and more, that's very impressive for me. Okay, in, regarding the community itself, uh, I have mixed feelings now because um, on the beginning, like I said, does it work or not? Yeah, whatever I was planning. But we have one flag, so the community was more in united uh, regarding one flag. Uh, today we have one thing that I do not enjoy. It's not an, the ideas. The ideas, I, I absolutely love it. Uh, one of the ideas that is uh, regarding the, the repeg that is coming now uh, is a layer two solution. I personally, don't 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 think will work but i love that people are thinking uh, in different ways of repeg or burn supply or whatever i love that uh, a lot of uh, of uh, brains are thinking in different ways what i do not like is when we say that uh, my idea is the one everything else is garbage this creates division between the communities um and uh, we see this happening so now we have to struggle a tiny bit more to move anything. So imagine, uh, I don't know, even a security patch 
yeah, that we have uh, what was two or three weeks ago, or whatever, was a tiny bit of a mess this time to 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 patch the chain. And previously to that was much much easier. But I think this is the price of decentralization. So um, is what it is. But regarding the the, the general community, um, I think we are starting to see again some movements regarding the increase of the community so we are seeing some movements again on social media from different uh, parts from people that i never saw tweet about luna uh, luna classic before um, and some older ones that they forgot and they are they are not, not coming to active again um, they are all seeing this this possible good news that are happening um, as a good as, as a green news um, so replying to your to your question i love when we start i love the power that we have as a community before uh but i think today we are a tiny bit more mature um so we are less but maybe we are stronger yeah, yeah um i mean for me what one thing you said was during the start of Luna Classic community, the whole community had one goal, like the burn tax and staking governance going live. So everyone was pulling towards one goal. Whereas now, like you could say, oh, Rocco is doing some meme coin or working on Jewish protocol. Someone's doing NFT. Someone's doing a gaming project. Some people want to burn. Some people don't. We are a bit fractured. Um, and I think what could bring us together is the USTC repeg because that is something that whoever you speak to in Luna Classic we all want the repeg we want stable coins we want utility for it and um, so that's why you know I, I support yourself Redline other people that tried to do a repeg because I think that is something that can bring the whole community together no, 100% I think I think the the uh, who can find a a way to repeg and give the utility uh, of, of of the peg itself. Yeah. Um, the, today we have a massive, massive, massive problem that TFL didn't have on the beginning. Yeah, that is uh, the hyper supply that we that we have of law on the side of Lunk. That's why I was just thinking regarding that that portal uh, because that will solve. 90% of that problem, but yeah. Um, but forgetting that that uh, very um, futuristic idea um, regarding the repack itself, um, we have a lot of supply. So who decides to do a repack idea to connect again USDC? Um, you will have to think about that because it's very nice if we just create uh, a stable coin. Yeah, will be very nice. Um, why not? Yeah. Will uh, will uh, allow us to to enter again in the market that we are not for a long time. Um, at the same time, you will not solve the problem of Lunk um, oversupply if we, if we just decide to do a stable coin that is not going to burn Lunk. That's why my plan, my my personal plan, yeah, passes with the old uh, uh, market model. Is not something very new. No, it has a couple of different securities there the multi pools the conditional pools all of that thing uh you will allow us to never have a deep uh, uh, a dead spiral it will be impossible with with that multiple pools um will it work i'm not sure i don't know will it work to to for us to to repack to one dollar good um people some people they tell me that is okay why do we want a dynamic peg why don't we try straight away to go to one dollar uh, because if we think on the two coins that we want to peg, the USTC and the LUNC, yeah, it's impossible. It's literally impossible to peg it to $1 at the moment. So my idea passes to peg it to current marketplace, uh, market uh, uh, price, yeah, and then go increasing as we find ways to fill up the, 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 the collateral pool uh, that one day could be or not used to, to defend the peg. Uh, in how, what ways? Okay, we're not going to sell Lung to defend the, the pack of Lung. Yeah, of course not. You will have to find ways to 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 convert that Lung if one day we 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 will we will go in that direction, or even IBC channels, whatever. Uh, but um, yeah, you are right. If uh, if we can find a, a way that everyone is happy and it will be very very hard, this chain has a lot of brains, a lot. 
Um, but we sometimes we tend not to work uh, very well together, uh, and we are very um, skeptical about other ones' ideas, um, and that's okay as well. I think uh, it gives us time to 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 do more stuff. But one of these days we have to just to sit down and say, okay, this is my idea. I think we'll uh, I think we have to 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 go on this on this direction. And uh, someone on the other side side of the table, no, you could not go there. Let's try to do it. And maybe, maybe we can create a fusion. We can mix out the ideas and create the ultimate master plan to repack the USDC to long and burn uh, amounts of quantities of long net uh, that, that will be amazing. And yes, you are right. If we can find a, a solution that will be everyone will be happy with, um, then we have our next flag. That's, that's, that's for sure. Um, cool. Uh, Lunatic, Rexy, have you guys got any questions before we delve more into the repack proposal? I think what Vegas has said, um, kind of agree with quite a lot of it, to be quite honest. It's, um, I think a big problem that we have within the community, and it is always a, also a strength, is you've got this diversity of opinion. Um, however, I think if if people could understand and well, could agree and understand a, a unified goal, and everybody understood the interpretation of that, then I think you get a lot more people working together. So something that goes on quite a lot within Terra Classic, it appears, and it may be just other blockchains, I don't know, but uh, I've witnessed it massively, uh, a massive amount within ours, is other people's ideas quite often aren't very good ideas, and they're not supported by people, until those ideas can become their ideas, and they can kind of take over them. And then all of a sudden it's a good idea, and it gets traction from a particular faction, if you like, and I think we've got to, got to move away from that. You know, a good, an idea can be a good idea if somebody else has thought it up. It doesn't have to be your idea. And if that idea helps repeg USTC, or it helps re-enable the market module, or it takes a, a zero off lunk, then does it really matter whose idea it is? You know, I think people need to move away from this perception of my ego is really important. I think most investors within the chain will consider the price and the value of their wallet is more important than somebody else's ego. Yeah, I agree with that, Rexy. Um, yeah, we've seen that before, egos get involved in the Luna Classic community. Um, okay, Vega, so the repo plan, do you want to summarize it? Um, I know it's, it's quite detailed and there's different aspects of, you know, um, splitting the fees. Um, I had another read of it this morning. Um, also creating like multiple pools, virtual liquidity pools, having like a kill switch and hard cap. Do you want to summarize it for, for people that are listening? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, so basi basically, um, we have a, a tiny problem at the moment, yeah? So the the, the price, uh, yeah, is done by something that that's, is a SDR, yeah? So that's not very nice for us at the moment. So my first, uh, my first idea for this to work will be to create like a, a Oracle pool for the side of USDC. Why? Because we need to know exactly the, the price of USDC at the, at the moment uh, to, to go against, against Lung in this situation. Um, okay, so that is already done. So Igor Vera has already, already created Oracle Feeder for USDC. Um, so that part is it needs to be tested on 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 on, on the official uh, uh, test net. But yeah, that part is literally done. But let, but let me try to. Another thing that is important. I just want to separate these two two things. Another thing that is important is, in my view, in my view, and that's why I I spoke about this this dead protocol over on somewhere. I don't know. Um, is um, the staking of USDC. Why do I think this is important? And I already see red red line stressing, or you already left. <laughs> um, uh, USCC, USCC is staking, in my opinion, is very, very important, not just for the repack itself, but for the whole ecosystem. Um, so imagine that um, that um, we have um, the, the supply that we have, yeah, the five, five billion uh, of circulation supply. 
and uh, we cannot get uh, rid of that circulation supply and somehow uh, people start dumping the coin when we are trying to peg it uh, for the current, uh, current market. If we can do the minimal, that's let's say the what we have with Lunk, uh, fifteen percent of of um, of the total supply being 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 staked, um, that will be absolutely amazing. So imagine that we can we can stake fifteen percent of USTC. That will allow to take a lot of uh, of USTC from the market. So just that will allow us to stabilize the price of uh, of uh, USTC a tiny bit more. That being said, it could even help increasing the price of USDC, and that will allow for more uh, APR from the side of, of Lung staking. Uh, and uh, that hopefully will make people even staking more and increasing the price of Lung as well, because we are taking uh, um, uh, supply from, from, the, from the circulation supply. So the staking part, in my opinion, I think it should be the first step that we should, should, uh, should go regarding the this whole proposal so uh basically the second so uh, we have the first one that is oracle oracle pool uh creation uh with the oracle feeder as well of usdc the second uh, the, so the third part will be then the creation of the stake uh, the staking system for usdc um some people they uh, they uh, ask uh, okay is this going to influence the voting power of the validators uh if we follow my idea, of course not. I think this should be just something that that uh, will allow the price and the whole system to work better, but not to influenceate whatever works already. So we should not even touch that that side of the of the of the model. So yeah, this we should not touch that part. Then okay, uh, that that this this part is, is something that will allow us to stabilize a tiny bit more the price. But regarding the proposal itself, uh, what what I'm 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 getting here, yeah, uh, what I'm trying to 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 transfer it here is is the question that is impossible for us to peg it at one dollar at the moment. It is is virtually, if not real, impossible to to peg it at one dollar. Lunk against USCC. Um So instead of that. I was thinking, okay, let's do it a dynamic uh, 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 peg. Um, the dy dynamic peg idea is to have, uh, imagine, let's just call it a pool, yeah? And that pool uh, um, will be, will 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 uh, try to understand what is the 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 the, vol the daily volume, yeah, of uh, USTC, and let's say that that we do five million dollars a day or whatever, yeah. When we have that five million dollars, yeah, a day plus, let's say, like the normal banks work, thirty percent of uh, more of that five, so let's say like eight million dollars um, on the collateral uh, uh, pool, yeah. Then we can move to the next step. So if today is one point seven or one point seven cents, and it, uh, and the price now wants to go to one point eight or whatever. Uh, maybe now we can defend at 1.8. So let's go to that step. Yeah. So now we have enough to defend at 1.8. Okay. So let's check the, uh, the the collateral pool again. Do we have enough to defend to 1.9? We have. Okay. Let's move to 1.9. The next day or the next month. Do we have enough to defend against uh, uh, two cents? Okay. We have uh, enough to defend uh, defend against uh, two cents. Okay. So let's move to two cents and so on and so on. It could be uh, quicker uh, uh, than what I'm saying, or could be slower. It depends the the utilization as well of of, of the community. Mechanisms of defense regarding this. Uh, so one of the reasons that 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 we got uh, so much uh, the, the, that spiral was so effective is that the pools were they were massive, it was like a hundred million dollars, in I think it was eighteen minutes or something like that. So imagine every eighteen minutes you could just drag eighteen million dollars. So the idea was to extend on this uh, this um, this proposal is to extend that eighteen uh, minutes to twenty four hours. So uh, and instead of having a hundred million dollars in one pool, we're not going to have that. We're going to have multiple pools. How? So we're going to instead of having a a, a pool that everyone can just swap and uh, and go, yeah. Uh, we will have 
one pool that will have, for example, on my on my proposal, I was saying a thousand dollars. So imagine that you that you swap a thousand dollars of uh, Lung to STC. Okay, cool. Everything is okay. Is the price still still uh, the same as it was uh, on this day? So it's still one point seven dollars. Uh, didn't uh, uh, mint more than it's supposed to. It didn't. Uh, um, Okay, so let's open the second pool. The second pool now is $2,000. I'm just putting numbers here. Um, okay, everything is okay. Someone decides there's a, there's a swap from Lung to STC, whatever. So, uh, okay, now we can go to the third pool, 4000 and go on, go on. Okay, the price is, is starting to get uh, uh, more than 5% of, of, of difference of what is supposed to, uh, supposed to be. Okay, something is wrong. Okay, stop the pools. So the next pool will not open. The next day, so we, we always reset this at, uh, on the end of 24 hours. So the next day, we will start with a pull of $1,000 again. Everything is okay? Yes. So the price is today is uh, 1.6. Okay, let's open the first pool, $1,000. Okay, the price didn't deviate uh, more than 5%. Okay, let's open the second pool. Let's open the third pool. Let's open the fourth pool. Okay, the price is deviating uh, more than 5%. Stop the fifth pool. You know, uh, the fifth pool. Um, so this is a massive mechanism of defense that we can have so we don't have a dead spiral. Uh, on, on the proposal itself, I talk about uh, creating a, a kill switch. Uh, a lot of people already told that that is not needed, that because, and it's, to be fair, it's, it's true. We could just literally just, 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 um, just do an upgrade with the validators and stop that. Um, what, what more do I talk about? Uh, the kill switch, blah, 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 da, 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 da. yeah, I think that's it. I think uh, it's, it's two parts, to be fair, it's two big parts. Is the, 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 the staking system for USDC is very, very important. And I think uh, even if we don't go for this idea of, of connecting Lung to USDC directly and utilize a different coin, uh, I think like a red line was suggesting, uh, I think the USDC uh, staking, it should be uh, a priority at this moment. Um, regarding the regarding the the, the other side, uh, like the conditional multiples, <sighs> is it is the, it defends the peg? Yes. It, does does it does it defend against a dead spiral, spiral? Yes. Will it grow as we want? We don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we'll need demand. I'm assuming for it to grow. Yeah, and that's, and that's uh, yeah. Well, that's where uh, uh, Red uh, Line Drifter Igor. They always tell me that that we have to play around a lot with uh, the arbitrage, uh, and I think that is something that is missing from my from my side. I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I forget that people always do this because they are trying to win money. Yeah, uh, the mechanism that I, that I'm posting here, it will work. Yeah, it will it will do what it's supposed to do. It will allow us not to to enter in any dead spiral, uh, and it will stop if something goes wrong. It will bring a lot of attention. I don't know. It will bring a lot of of users. I don't know. Yeah. Um, the idea is to for the multiple pools to always play around, so it will give you a better spread. If you are, if you are, imagine that I don't know, uh, ten thousand persons they swap Lunk. Yeah, to USDC. Okay, but now we want the other way around, so we'll give you a, a better spread from the other side. So it will it will incentivize people to do it, but not as 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 uh, as um, as the dudes uh, Red and Igor suggesting. That is whatever they are suggesting. It seems much more profitable for the user. But uh, the only thing that I don't like is that we almost forget the USDC, and and in my opinion. We shouldn't. We really, really shouldn't because USCC is listed every single where. And if we just decide to go with a different coin, I think we are just doing the mistakes that Duquan did. That is like, okay, this doesn't work. Let's uh, let's open something else and call it something else as well. Um, I think that's not the best approach that we should do. At the same time, if it works, it works. Yes, yeah, is what it is. So I will I will support. Um, something that is better than what I'm trying to propose here. Well, I'm, in my view, this is the best way for us uh, to try a repeg idea to the dynamic way 
instead of trying to go straight away to one one dollar peg. Yeah, so another question I have, uh, by the way, Redline or Igo, if you guys want to come up, do request. Um, it'd be good to speak to you guys as well. But I think what would be good, because what you've explained to you, complicated stuff, and we've heard it before in Luna Classic community, there's proposals go up of, oh, we'll do this, and unfortunately we can't progress it. Uh, but one thing I think we should really focus on is maybe the USDC staking, um, from a trader or a hype point of view, that will generate a lot of interest. Um, could we... Maybe just focus on that. Or it could have like key steps or you know key people that can focus on it to start implementing uh, uh, USDC staking. Yes. So uh, that that uh, already divide a plan in in, uh, in a couple of areas, um, and uh, I spoke with a couple of of developers, um, good developers uh, that they they will propose to do this. Yeah. So um, yeah, the USDC, the USDC is taking is something that is is on the line, uh, and uh, and if the the community the validators uh, want to go with this, uh, it will be super simple to 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 implement. So uh, yeah, that's that the, the the staking system for USDC is something that I'm thinking for a long time, but today it makes even more sense. Uh, and I spoke with a couple of of developers, two of them. One we know, uh, one of the developer teams we know very well. Um, the other one is new, but uh, yeah, they, they they are going to try to 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 to, to create a proposal for 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 doing this. Um, we just saw a couple of things that they are just waiting for to happen, and then they will they will um, they will try to propose this. Um, yeah, but it's like you are saying, this is so complex that uh, even if we just apply a part of this proposal, that is just a staking system for USDC, uh, the rest can be changed. Uh, as we go, because it's what it is. I I will love to see this go in front uh, with some kind of adjustments, of course. Uh, but I understand that is some capable persons here that are almost sure that they will see something that I'm not seeing. And um, and yeah, if their idea is better, mate, let's go. We all want the same thing. That's that's the reality. So could we expect to see a um, USDC staking proposal up soon in the next few weeks? Yep. Okay, that's that's really good. We look forward to it. Um, Redline, Goku, Pedro, MB, have you guys got any questions on the USCC staking, USCC repeg idea from Vegas before we move on to another topic? Okay, looks like no other questions. Um, Rexy is joined again at Lunatic. If you guys have any questions for Vegas on USCC Repeg. Yeah, apologies there. I think I got rubbed. Um, so I've kind of missed about the last 15 minutes. But I'm not going uh, to say everything again. If you could just summarize it again. Yeah. Um, no, what uh, summary, I did summary is USCC is going to get repegged to a dollar in two weeks and you should buy loads. <laughs> yeah. oh, two weeks. Uh, that's too bad, then. that's yeah. good. That's good. <laughs> I mean, I did something I did here earlier on. Let's say I apologize the last 15 minutes. Um, is I think actually probably a dynamic peg is probably a reasonable thing to do. Um, and I wrote a paper of something similar to this, or oh, must be about 18 months ago now. Uh, and I kind of jokingly said, you know, we could peg USTC to the value of an old threepence. Um, which probably isn't far off what it's actually worth now. Um, and I think a lot of people would be attracted to USTC on the basis of a stable store of value, regardless of what that value is. And it could be a cent. Um, you know, I'm not against that kind of idea, but providing the price doesn't go down, I think that's the key thing. And I think if people have that kind of security that the value is pegged as a minimum value, whether that was two cents, one cents, whatever it maybe currently is, but then it can only go up. That probably would attract quite a lot of people and help with the repeg as well. Yeah, without a doubt, mate. Yeah. So uh, is, uh, we are just, uh, we keep thinking of dollar, 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 dollar. Yeah. But a uh, cent, uh, a penny, like you guys call it here in England, I think it's penny or pennies or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, it could work as well. It could work. So I don't see why not we... I, in my opinion, we should keep trying, yeah, to to save this connection 
yeah, of uh, Loom QSCC instead of trying to open a new one. I'm speaking with uh, with someone, yeah, that is, is telling me a different side. That is very interesting as well. And we might find a way to like use a triangle shape here to connect Loom QSCC and another coin that is already existing. But yeah, that what that will come more in the future. But for me, a dynamic or a, or a, a one cent, it will work either way. Uh, let me just give uh, props to Redline. Um, a lot of things, yeah, that I that I brainstorm. For example, this is not the first time that I came with uh, with a plan, and uh, Redline just uh, called me off. And uh, thank you for that. Uh, I was overseeing some some stuff, and um, yeah, of course, then then he just suggests me a different stuff. It's still, I know that we are still in different uh, different uh, sites here, because I'm, I I still believe that we should save this connection. Um, but uh, thank you for for all the all the suggestions and uh, and uh, and uh, suggestions that that you give, uh, as as Igor as well as uh, Defunk as well. Uh, they are they are absolutely amazing. Thanks. Redline, you want to add anything to the USTC dis discussions we're having? Uh, sorry, I might be just after getting back in. Um, I, 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 you were just talking about Vegas' yes. proposal. Yes, so proposal, there, Vegas proposal. Um, so I, I missed a lot of what he was saying, but I'm kind of aware of his proposal anyway, and I've read it. Um, the one thing for me with his proposal about using a market module again is, like, for me, like previously, even though there was a market module, which would have meant to say essentially you're you are backed by by Lunk. There, there's nothing really there to back you now. And if you have a dynamic peg, like you're constantly moving. Like, like what's the incentive to make the swap ever? If that makes sense. Before there was an incentive to make the swap because you had a store of value there, or there was an incentive to swap because of the arbitrage incentive. But say. With your proposal, Vegas, what's the incentive to swap belong to USTC or vice versa? We got into a di dynamic why, one. Why would we swap? I don't know. I think I think we could create uh, on the. Yes, wait, wait, can you hear me? Or... Okay, Vegas. Uh, can you yes, not I hear can me? Hear you now, mate. Go ahead. It just went mute. Ah. I was just saying that's something that uh, I know um, that you're... was Vegas replying was he or I just I can't hear. I can hear Vegas. Can you not hear Vegas Redline? No, I can't hear him. Uh, I might leave space and just come back again, so maybe I can hear him. Yeah, again. rejoin. We can all hear him. Redline. Yeah, I think it's you. I think it's Redline. You have to rejoin. Vegas, you can carry on. Okay. Well, uh, so basically, uh, I see what uh, Red was saying, and uh, you already called me off uh, uh, on the same private, and, and thank you for that. Um, so, yes, the incentive to do this. Um, so imagine that we are doing swaps, yeah, and we have a hundred uh, users doing uh, swaps of uh, Lunk to USDC, yeah, and um, and we are giving the incentive of uh, giving, uh, let's call it everything dollar. Uh, you are getting uh, 1.01 dollar of your dollar, so you are winning one cent if you swap to one side. Okay, uh, are you going to get that? Uh, okay, we can get that from the fees, yeah, or we can get that from the other side. So every time that someone swaps to the side that that the model doesn't want to be swapped, so uh, um, we want to imagine that that is a lot of people swapping to one of the sides. We want to the other side to be the, the side that is going to be swapped more times uh, because uh, we already got 100 swaps uh, regarding look to USCC. We want more USCC now to go to look so they balance each, uh, each other. We can give the, the, the option, no, not the option, we can give the incentive of, um, I don't know, zero. For the person to do that. And how exactly? I don't know where we're going to get that. If it's from the general fees, if it's from the collateral pool that we are creating, and we take some of the of the of the um, of the fees of the burn that is uh, that is being done. I don't know. It's something that that is we have to think uh, together uh, how we can we can um, improve this side uh, because it's something that that uh, yes it will make much more uh, usability of of the of the mechanism itself. Um, yeah, like, like realistically, you have to have an incentive there to swap, or it has to be a store of value. 
you know, like people want if they send money through it that they know they're going to get the same money back out. Either that or they want to profit from making the swap. Other than that, because there's no UK use case for USTC presently, you know what I mean? There's no incentive to make the swap. You can't spend USDC anywhere. Um, like for me, I, I think the CDP route is probably a better way of going, um, considering the amount of debt that's involved with USDC at present um, and build collateral before we open the market module. If you're opening the market module without collateral there, just you can't, you can't create incentive if that makes The only way you can create incentive is you're going to inflate the supply of one token or another. And that comes at a cost to the, yeah, yeah. To the user base. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but uh, like I said, it was, uh, utilizing one different coin just because is, um, I think we should try. I still think we should try with USCC first and see how it goes. Uh, I know what you say. It's like we have one chance of this, so we better if we do it right. I understand. Regarding the the, the use case scenario for for USCC, um, I already spoke with uh, with big centralizing changes regarding, for example, starting uh, uh, pairs with a long to USCC. Simple as that. Uh, I didn't got the best uh, reply straight away from the big ones, but I got from the small ones. So. Um, Having a having a USCC paired with uh, other different coins like um, like a stable coin, yeah. But you could say okay, but it's a, it's a dynamic, so tomorrow it could go higher. Yeah, but it can never go lower if we so uh, un unless uh, unless we pick up the collateral pool and uh, we sell it and disappear with uh, with the, the funds, uh, it can never never go lower than whatever we we already get packed. So imagine if it's one cent now and we have enough. Uh, on the collateral pool to defend that one cent, that is one cent. So is a use case scenario straight away there. And regarding the swap mechanism there, so making people utilize that, I think we could play around with the fees uh, regarding the side that is being swapped, uh, trying to trying to force uh, the user to swap in one direction, uh, offering him a better deal uh, than the other side. Um, yeah. Yeah, that that'll be fine. Say, but like. The market module doesn't operate strictly like a V. It's kind of like a V2 liquidity system, but with a V2 liquidity system, there are counterparts. But with a market module, when you create incentive, the other side is the holders, if that makes sense. Like you're, you, there's not liquidity providers at the other side of the market module. The liquidity providers at the other end of the market module are the holders, if that, if that makes sense. So the market module is a bit different. If you if you need to create incentive on one side, it's the holders of the other side that that are creating that incentive. If you use the market module, do you understand? Like, because you have to inflate the Sorry, supply that, one side to create yeah, incentive. Yeah, if it's the holders, you are saying that if it's the holders, uh, yeah, that create incentive from the other side. Yeah. So uh, again, the staking the staking system for USCC will be a must. Because we'll help the two sides of the ecosystem. Yeah, like okay, I get you. Like that would help, you know, take USDC out of circulation. And um, I suppose ultimately, like for me, I could see your plan working with the other stables. Like we could start them collateralized already. Do you know what I mean? And your system would work just fine. Um, like like with USDC. But man, like, if we start, and it's a U. Oh, sorry, go on. I'm just I'm just I'm just following your uh, idea. So. Um, and if we start with another uh, 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 stable, can we then go to USDC or is it done? You know, I, I really, really do not want to lose the opportunity of um, of uh, trying to fight for USDC and for the for the main uh, uh, coins. Oh, no, you're mistaken so, me. Like, I'm not really... saying we should forget about USDC, right? But we must be realistic about the size of, you know, of the problem that USDC has there, right? And we must look at the way regulations are moving globally as well right so like if we are going to say that usdc is a stable coin right that will force the bigger exchanges to delist because usdc isn't like a compliant right it's not right so what we should do i think is concentrate our efforts on the other stables right where we can be mica compliant generate money there and we start buying back usdc cheap to know it so we start buying it back taking it out of circulation or building up collateral and, and then come back at USDC when we're in a position to do so with money. Do you know what I mean? That we're in a strong position to take on USDC. We're kind of starting on the back foot here because 
we're starting at an uphill battle. Whereas if we start with the other stables, you know, we're starting from a good position. And, and it's something that we can market to the bigger bigger exchanges. Um, like, so if we look at the other stables, right, if we keep 50% of the collateral in, say, USDC or other stables that keep fiat in the bank, we then make all our stables MICA compliant. Do you know, so we'd have be able to offer like EUTC, JPYTC, and exchanges could offer trading pairs in those. Um, and we'd be the yeah, only 100%. chain MICA compliant able to do that. And, and like, that's, that's a real <laughs> bullish use case. Do you know, even for big... To, to have to offer those trading pairs to people, you know, that you can trade in your own local currency. Like, for me, that's the most bullish use case we have. Uh, I think, anyway. A hundred percent. But, for example, even regarding that, the centralizing change, we'll have to have some kind of legal entity, some kind of strong regulations to even declare it officially a uh, stable coin, yeah? No. So, like, we can be a decentralized stable coin. So, the, the rules are specific in that you have to keep 50% fiat in the bank, right? There has to be 50% fiat. But if we buy USDC and they keep fiat in the bank, then our token is technically backed by 50% fiat in the bank. So we're kind of circum it's a loophole to get around the micro regulations to make us compliant without ever having to have a bank account. USDC yeah, or yeah. whoever, they would we let the regulation fall on them basically. We just we just make sure that we have fifty percent of, of their stable coin and yeah, yeah, that guarantees yeah. us it basically. It makes sense. I'm not going to lie. It makes sense. Uh, the thing is, um, yeah, okay, it makes sense. But for even for having a, a bank account, we'll have to to start thinking a, a different way as a community. Uh, but one thing I think we can agree is the staking system for the USCC. Uh, I think we need that. I think it's something that will uh, allow us to 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 go on 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 a good effort, even if it's not this idea, if it's a different idea, if it's Whatever idea, I think the, the staking system for USCC will be uh, a must uh, regarding any kind of uh, effort uh, regarding the, the, the USCC repack plan. I think Red yeah, can agree think, on that I as well. Yeah, I would, yeah, I'd agree with you. Cool. I've got another question on the USTC, but Lunatech needs to leave. Uh, do you guys, do, do you want to jump on for five minutes, Lunatech, before you have to leave today? Sure. Why not? What have you got for us then? Go on, tell us. The Juris Alpha, you want? <laughs> so I think, uh, where should I start? I think I said some stuff before. Um, so basically, uh, Solid Group is waiting for my input. Like, uh, they need some, they have some questions about the project, um, about the founders, uh, stuff like this. So I'm collecting information, which I should have provided yesterday. But I didn't manage because I was literally based, busy uh, to write this uh, letter of intent contract with the investors. And um, it's, it wasn't as easy as I would have thought. Um, I don't know if uh, the person who helped me wants me to tell that he helped me, but uh, some community member, lucky, I was lucky enough to have a community member helping me out with this because the legal stuff is like just annoying. Um, I always laughed at my boss when he was telling me like the paperwork and stuff is killing him. And I was like, bro, you're not coding or doing any work. It's just paper stuff. Like, don't complain. But uh, I've got to teach a lesson yesterday. Um, after like six hours, um, my head was hurting and I literally couldn't read anymore. Like, uh, and at some point I was like, bro, stop like arguing and like telling me. Like I was sending that person sections of the contract and he was like reviewing it and giving input. And I was like, stop giving input, just rewrite it and tell me like what you changed. And then uh, I would just copy paste it in because I'm literally done. And at the end, of course, I reviewed stuff, but uh, man, it took like eight hours or something to write those contracts. Um, I went to my father, he signed it. Um, then, yeah, he didn't send me the money, he sent it to the LLC's account. So uh, I collected 54,000 euros, which is like 60 grand. That's two thirds of the money required for the lending protocol to be built. Like that contract that we have states 90 grand. Um, and uh, we are going to collect uh, 120 grand in total until uh, 30th of September. 
that's the that's the deadline for the investors to pay um, and two more guys need to sign the contract like two two persons signed it already one of them is my father one of them is an anonymous community member who I approached like months ago and he uh, agreed to also participate um, so I guess tomorrow I will receive the signed agreement from him and then I will sign it myself send the copy over and uh, it's pretty funny because I was always making fun of KYC now I'm the one who has to KYC the investors because of uh, anti-money laundering rules and whatever so uh, it was a pretty fun experience uh, I even have to KYC my father and get like proof of residence uh, just for the records and stuff um, that was also fun uh, what else can I say? Yeah, we are aiming to sign the contract with the developers of the lending protocol um, until 1st of October, latest 1st of, 4th of October, I think, um, because we have a Twitter space coming, like we were invited by SolidProof to join the Twitter space that they're hosting. Um, so we have the chance to introduce our project to a non-Lunar Classic community. I think they have like 200 thousand followers so that's pretty massive and um, also we are working very hard to um, to get the vesting contract audited for the investors and for the airdrops as well so that hopefully we can deploy the smart contract 1st of October um, and also release the web app the Juris web app that will allow investors to log in and watch like look up their um, Investing tokens uh, and later claim them as well. I'm sorry about the noise. The noise. I'm outside smoking. Um, <laughs> sorry for that. Um, what else did I miss, uh, Rocco? Can you think of anything? I don't have notes or anything. I'm doing this out of my head. No, I think the key thing is that raising all these funds and this paperwork stuff is to get the devs paid to start the work. Um, that's the goal. Yeah, exactly. And um, SolidProof is also going to look over the contract uh, that we have with the devs. Um, they cannot, like I have to emphasize that they cannot give us and they won't give us legal advice because they're not the attorneys or lawyers. But what they will do is like uh, look at the requirements that Frag and I wrote and make sure that uh, those are reflected in the contract as well. So that we are not going to have delays because um, even like milestone based approach so we don't have to pay the debts uh, up front or anything like we have a, we have to pay a small sum up front but not uh, the whole project or anything so uh, we can review milestones and we only have to pay if we're happy uh, and solid proof will also like uh, audit the the code that they deploy after each milestone uh, but even if you have this approach it can always be the case that once they uh, they deploy like one milestone, we, we review it and then we say like, bro, this is not what we wanted you to code and we agreed on X, Y, Z. And they're like, yeah, but the contract says you wanted this, you know, and then we start arguing and uh, get delayed for two or three weeks per milestone. I don't want that. I want the lending protocol to be deployed. I hope Q1 2025. Um, and... Uh, Therefore, I want to make sure that the contract is as explicit as possible so that there is no room for like error. And um, yeah, I think like the worst part is behind us, like in terms of uh, having headaches and uh, uncertainty and uh, whatever. It looks like everything is coming or falling into place. Um, so I'm really happy. I'm happy about the support of the community. Recently, it has been huge. Like uh, lots of people have been approaching me, asking questions. Um, and even maybe I can spoiler this. Like even uh, I think even maybe Coach Bruce might be interested in the project. Like he's he's kind of checking it out or something. I've heard so that's pretty bullish too from my side because uh, I think he had a bad impression of Luna Classic for a while. Uh, but hopefully we can change the perception of the chain. So thanks for everybody who supported us. Um, some of the team members are here. Maybe I should also say that we had our first official team meeting with all of the all of the team members except for Rocco. <laughs> so shame on you. Just kidding. Um, it was actually really great. It was it had like the old TR vibes. Uh, everybody who has been in TR knows like how it was in the beginning at least, and it felt pretty much the same. Um, so I'm super excited. I'm bullish for the future. 
And uh, now, guys, I have to actually leave because my girlfriend got some Indian food and I'm going to enjoy the rest of the evening with her. It's the only day where I can see her. I didn't see her for almost two weeks. So um, apologies from my side. Um, yeah, that's it. Cool. Thank you, mate. Well, I've got one more question on USTC, then hopefully we can talk a bit about Terra, Terra Trium and um, the Terra Casino meme burns. Um, so there's another proposal that's gone on about USTY. Um, I was going to talk about it in a bit more detail, but I've, I've had a few DMs, people saying there's some shady stuff that's gone on, which I can't confirm, uh, but I've had a few people from people that I trust. Um, so Redline, maybe you first, then I'll go to Vegas and Rexy. Uh, what's your thoughts on the other proposal that's gone up, the USTY? Um for, it's it's not complete, but from what I've seen of it so far, it does look pretty promising. Um, like what we were, myself and Duncan were talking about in some of the previous spaces was um, moving to CDP style system, um, which is a collateralized debt position. Um, so basically, you would have fully collateralized um, all our stable coins would be fully collateralized to one hundred and sixty percent. And what they were this proposal was going to allow do is uh, if the collateral went above. 160 percent you'd then be able to swap usty which would have been current ustc into into back into ustc basically so you'd be able to reclaim your ustc for a dollar if the collateral went above uh, above 160. so for usdc holders it's actually pretty bullish because once you're quick enough, you'll be able to reclaim your USDC, which is currently valued at one or two cents for a dollar, as if the collateral went above this one sixty percent. And no, there was some, there was something I found that was a bit weird with it. Um, it, so they were going to have token waiting, but the token waiting was going to be fixed and was going to be determined by governance. Um, and I, I don't think I think that would have issues. I, th I think you need to have dynamic token waiting. Um. For it to work but other than that like for me it looked like a really good model and i'm looking forward to seeing the the full proposal um but yeah i, I think it looks very promising um and could be a potential way for us to move forward it's, it's a bit similar to the kuji usk right so when you get the backing then you can start claiming it back yeah it'll be similar to that um but like i mean if we have 160 percent collateral there i mean the thing is is that you use that money you don't just leave it sit so like whether we stake some of it or whatever we generate yield from that collateral that's sitting there um like that's what other stable coins do generally um i don't think that kuji or usk was really doing that they were more kind of sitting the collateral there and they've kind of a liquidation kind of style system um I, I I'd be more uh, I, I'd be more towards generating yield, which would be more kind of like what the is kind of doing, if you understand them. But the problem with the is is they're not compliant anywhere because they don't hold any stable coin as collateral, basically. So they wouldn't be widely compliant. Um, but I I do think it's a it's definitely a good way for us to go forward. We should definitely think about it, but. I'd need to see the proposal in full before I could give it a, my blessings, uh, if that makes sense. Yes, um, definitely. I mean, well, well, one thing we did agree on this space is, is getting the USDC staking going, uh, whether it's for Vegas's proposal or someone else's proposal. I think that will be really good from investors and traders' point of view. Uh, Vegas, your thoughts on it? I think you mentioned that you prefer like the market module rather than an L2. So your thoughts yeah. on that proposal? Yeah. So, um, like I said, yeah, I prefer. I prefer. I think uh, uh, it should stay. It should stay on uh, L one completely on L one. Uh, but I, I applaud the efforts to 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 do um, an idea on L two as well. Uh, that being said, um, I do not like that this doesn't at least from the text that I could see uh, that uh, somehow is a tiny bit confused at least on the on the first parts. Seems that was a tiny bit rush. Uh, I will. I will really, really want to hear more from the original team that that uh, create this to understand a tiny bit better. Um, if it was not or Shane, I will say that yes, okay, it, it will work. Yeah, but we have the problem of oversupply of Lung, and uh, from what I could see there, it doesn't address that in any way or shape. 
So, um, yeah, it's one more good thing for us, but uh, will not solve our main problem. That being said, I'm just waiting for the um, for the the full the full white uh, paper or whatever in the next couple of weeks or months. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm I'm probably in the same boat, Vegas. I'll I'll do the same. But I did share their post, and then there was some e uh, comment saying, "Oh, there's been other people. It's been leaked." So that's why I was a bit. Let me t wait, see what more information comes out before I share it. Um, Rexy, your thoughts on it, mate? Uh, can you hear me all right? Yes, we can. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I'm still driving. Uh, well, I think that the more ideas there is in the pot, I think the more likely there is that there's going to be an idea that is worthy of progressing further. Um, in terms of this kind of secondary proposal, I mean, I've, I have a better understanding of that, um, which I'll maybe not go into a great deal at the moment. However, I think it was, it was part of the bigger proposal that would that included a um, an objective of actually being able to re-enable the market supply and burn lung, just as what you know Vegas was just saying, and a milestone along the way of achieving that was having a pegging of USTC at whatever that may be, whether that's one cent, two cent, or a dollar. Ideally, you know, I think people would like it to be a dollar. Um, but I think this was just a uh, an amalgamation of some of the thinking to do with that wider strategy um, and goal that's been a bit haphazardly. Uh, the, the group kind of behind this um, had developed kind of a sex and other things to kind of test the, uh, the kind of final proposal that there was, I think, looking to put towards the community, and for that to be done in such a way that it engendered people to trust the team behind it. So that team, you've got people in there like Iron Man, Igar, and, and other people as well. Um, so, you know, the, the way you release something into the community is absolutely vital in terms of being trusted. And if you want to trust the community in terms of agreeing a proposal or you know whatever it may be or just buying into something if you haven't got trust you haven't really got a lot of anything um but like i say this this particular proposal is just kind of a part of a a lot bigger um, a lot bigger kind of sort of plan but as i say you know the more um, the more ideas that are in the pot the more likely it is there's going to be one that's um you know rich for taking forward well, I guess an open question then. Do you guys know the team? Like, I've never heard of Ceramic, and I think it was, was it Ricardo? Because, um, you know, when I've seen proposals before, you know, Redline and Alex, uh, with this one from Vegas, I've, I've seen these people in the Lunk community since the start. Um, the, the new proposal, I haven't seen the team, and we've seen previously, right? I don't have to name them. There's been people that come up and said, yeah, we're going to burn this much Lunk, we're going to do this much, and they just come out of nowhere and, and just talk about it. So that's why... My not concern is um, I'm a bit wary. Is do you guys know the team, um, or have spoken to them or dealt with them in the past? Uh, <clears throat> you put me on the spot here, haven't you? Um, <laughs> if you can't share it, yeah, I know the team. Yeah, it's, uh, I know the team because I put the team together, um, and there was nine or ten people in it. Um, I'm not saying who they are, but, you know, covering people that, you know, you've spoken about there. But the, the way that the team was created was there's people in there, like Iron Man, um, who didn't really want recognition. And what we found was that when you've got a team working together, if it's in the public eye, you spend so much time dealing with um, people that are maybe, you know, really interested but then maybe aren't on the same technical level. And you end up spend, you know, spending an enormous amount of resources basically getting nowhere. Whereas if you've got a team where their whole purpose is to find a solution to something and work together in peace and harmony. Um, and, you know, I originally kind of put this team together. Oh, God, I think it's... I don't know, what, what are we in September now, aren't we? Is it 
September, yeah, isn't it? So, oh, it must be 18 months ago. Um, it must be getting on that way. And so, we kind of came to a mutual agreement that we would respect each other and nobody would bring this to the into the public arena until everybody was ready that it was a solution that we felt had got legs, let's say. And um, one of the reasons for that is if you bring a solution to the to the public that isn't really, um, you know, kind of ready, people can end up investing in it. And if it doesn't work, that can wreck people. And, and people have been wrecked enough with USPC and, and long for that matter. So, you know, protecting the public and investors was considered our, you know, the primary, the primary importance. Um, and also as part of that, if he's going to bring something to the community, then your proposal needs to be tested. And, you know, that's why we, you know, I agree, built a sex. Um, and, the, you know, there's, there's a lot of work that gone into it. Um, and like I say, what's being presented at the moment is just an amalgamation of kind of ideas. Um, and, you know, the team, to be honest, haven't been particularly pleased that this has been released because it wasn't agreed. Nobody was kind of consulted. It was just that, you know, the um, them ideas were kind of, if you like, leaked out. Um, and the, the person that's kind of formulating these, he was kind of invited into the team about halfway through you know, pretty much after the majority of the work was done. Um, but anyway, there you go. Um, the team um, had pretty much done the work where they're at at the minute prior to the KYC proposal coming out. And this is the team that, you know, I've mentioned to many in the community that if the KYC is at if the KYC proposal is successful, there's people in this team that won't be able to contribute to L1. And I, you know, I created a alternative proposal that would have enabled these developers to carry on, as well as the L1 team, which had got Vin and Iron Man in it at that time. And it was con I was consulted with all the L1s that was on the chain at the time, including, I think, Genuine Labs, I think, when they first came here as well. I think it was around about that time. Um, but that proposal, it kind of wasn't kind of taken forward. Um, and then as the, the KYC proposal, as it was up to a few weeks ago, as that went through, it kind of meant that, you know, we couldn't kind of pursue the repeg and re-enabling the market module, um, which is how I said it would be. Um, so then when Straff created his proposal just recently, um, that pretty much mirrored the requirements of the draft that I put together and agreed with all these, L1 devs. Um, so that kind of just reawakened the team, you know, somewhat if you like. Um, although work wasn't really, it didn't really resume. And part of the reason was it's been, was it been best, best part of nine months since the KYC proposal was in. And, you know, people go on to different things. And it takes a, a massive amount of effort to keep people together in a team especially when they're working voluntary and they're putting hundreds and hundreds of hours into this. I mean, there's a massive amount of work went in. I mean, I, I'm just gobsmacked by the, the amount of effort um, that was put. Yeah, so there you go. So I do know a bit more about it. And, yeah, I mean, there's people in the TerraVita team and TerraPort didn't know that I was involved in this because... Can you guys hear Rexy or is he just cut off? No, just cut off. Cut off, okay. All right, I think actually you've answered the question. Um, thanks for your open and honest way of um, explaining the situation. Um, so I'll, again, I'll like Vegas said, let's see what he comes up with in the next next couple of weeks. But it needs to be a team effort for it to for it to work. So we'll give him a couple of weeks, give him benefit of the doubt, and uh, reassess. Okay, so maybe we can talk about uh, Terra Trutium uh, Vegas. Do you want to give us an intro? I'm on their website now. I could probably try it out. But yeah, if you give us an intro for people that are tuning in. Yeah. Um, I mean, thank you. Rex, mute yourself. It's already difficult for people to understand me, mate. <laughs> Still driving. Let me mute him. Uh... Uh, thank you, mate. 
Um, yeah, I was just uh, checking something here that is a tiny bit weird. But yeah, okay, so uh, Terra Tritium. Okay, um, it's a lot. So Terra Tritium, uh, I don't know if you can post the, the, the website as well. It's terratritium.com. If I have it uh, here. And it's, uh, you pronounce it correctly, you just have a different accent. So uh, the Terra is a uh, Terra Tritium. So um, the idea is that uh, that is big on uh, on this game. Uh, we are still uh, very early. We try to do a lot on the beginning. Uh, we understand that it's like it's not the way to go to try to do a lot uh, with a small team uh, and uh, not a lot of funds uh, to go. So uh, we focus in uh, in the in the game itself. Um, the, this game is powered by a token Terra Tritium. Trit. Uh, has a very small supply, uh, 495 million, uh, 95 million was what we started. I think today we have 491 million because we have a burning system as well. Um, we have NFTs. These NFTs, they allow you to do uh, special things inside of the game, or they can give you some, uh, they can make things cost less uh, or make you do things more quicker. And uh, they are pieces of art. Um, we have um, we have a game uh, outside of this game that is the the the, the rocket basically, so basically it's like a lotto. Um, but yeah, uh, regarding the 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 game is a MMO, so basically it's a gigantic uh, MMO. So it has thirty. So this first server it has thirty two thousand worlds. You can conquer worlds, so it doesn't mean that you will have thirty two thousand persons playing uh, there. Uh, because you, for example, I myself, I already have four worlds um, uh, on the on the game, uh, and the idea is for you to conquer uh, planets, to grow um, your your uh, armada, of course. So um, it's a space uh, uh, space uh, team uh, game, and uh, it all rolls around the treat. Uh, at the moment, the team is very focused on the, uh, uh, um, redesign uh, the game to, uh, to, to fit a tiny screen. Uh, it should be easy, but it's not. So it's taking a tiny bit more time than we expected because it's so detailed uh, and is, it has so many conditions. It's not just like doing uh, a game on Unreal. That, uh, that's, yeah, okay, it's all about graphics. No, this is not about graphics, it's about other stuff, so it's a lot of conditions that that has to be met. Um, so the the step that we are at the moment is to 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 bring to 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 um, to work properly on the Android and then of course in uh, uh, iPhones as well. So iOS um, that is taking some time, but that's where we are at the moment, and this uh, is a big stage for us uh, to to do that, and of course to fix some bugs. Uh, of the game. For example, one known bug that we are just trying to fix for a long time is that every time that you do something, uh, you have to go back and go to your mining metal and click there, and then it will activate whatever you did. So it's small little bugs that because it's a better version, the players are the ones that are bringing the feedback as well and testing the game itself to understand, for us to understand uh, what bugs we have to, to fix, uh, what bugs are a priority. Uh, on the beginning, we have some bugs that was like, okay, this is a, this is a tiny bit too bad for for the for the for the normal users. Uh, other ones we are not uh, giving the priority; they will be fixed eventually. It's just, they are just going to the backlog, and um, and uh, we are just go, as we go with the small team, we are trying to fix them all, uh, uh, maintaining the priority of fixing the bugs, and of course, <clears throat> uh, completely uh, allowing users to have a good experience in, uh, on a mobile phone. Um, the idea. Uh, is uh, as soon as we have these two stages uh, completed, uh, is to start bringing the treat inside of the game. So um, the whole idea works around. We don't have proof of work inside of the chain. It's proof of stake, of course. We all know. Um, so the idea was for you to have your spaceship, and you see like an asteroid. And that asteroid will have some treat there and other tokens as well. So we want to work with other tokens as well. So uh, we are open to the whole community that are, uh, has other tokens. Um, and uh, we will allow in the future for treat and uh, Lung and uh, other CW tokens 
to be mined inside of the game. How? Imagine you have uh, your own armada, you go, you find an uh, 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 asteroid that has uh, tokens there, and you go and fight for that for that uh, for that uh, asteroid. In the end of the block, virtual block, of course, uh, the person or the mining pool, so the, the alliance that is uh, owning that uh, asteroid, so the the ones that are that are conquering that asteroid, they will get the reward. If you are solo mining. So if you are solo, if you are uh, attacking that alone, the reward of that block will go all for you. And if you have like 100,000 uh, tritiums, uh, 10,000 lungs or whatever, that will go all for you. Um, if you are part of an alliance uh, and you are attacking that asteroid and in the end you guys win, uh, then you will be divided by the, the whole alliance, just like uh, you do in a mining pool, uh, mimicking the, the real miners uh, of crypto, like... Um, the old, uh, old Ethereum miners and stuff like that. So, uh, and then it will be div divided by um, who has the biggest armada and all of these things, just like you do when you are mining uh, in your graphics cards. Uh, if you have more hash rates, you're going to receive more rewards from that block and so on and so on. Uh, so th this, is the, this is the next step, is to bring Tritium inside of the, of the game. But uh, we really want to completely fix all the bugs uh, of the game first uh, and make it completely um, playable on the phones because I know that 90% of people just use phones for these games so uh, it makes super sense for us to to go in that direction. Uh, we are getting there but it's still going to take some time um, for us to achieve to achieve that point. Uh, after that then 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 we go follow the rest of the of the of the roadmap that is um, it passes by listing in a lot of uh, centralizing changes um and yeah so um our first um centralizing change that we list didn't went very well so it was a coin a coin a coin -ini. um today is practically fixed um but again so for example i am uh, just bringing again from the uh, from the first conversation that we are uh, having just today that uh, some people they got extremes uh, I don't. I try to work with uh, with everything. So I like the burn tax. Yeah, I like the utility. Yeah, and I, I fully back the 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 the, the burn tax. At the same time, working in the tritium and uh, uh, other projects that I helped as well, being listed and and, and uh, moving moving around. Yeah, um, for example, on Konhini and other uh, small uh, centralization changes, they have problems listing uh, CW20s. So we have to teach them how they can they can pay the fees and all of this. And some of them we have even to list Lunk to um, to for them to accept this CW twenty token. So that's when I say that is it's not one solution for the for the Terra Classic. Is the two solutions, the three, four, five solutions. So in this case, burn tax is okay. It works. Uh, utility okay. It works. It, we are bringing Lunk to other uh, other 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 sites, but yeah, uh, coming back to Terra Tritium. Yeah, that's the stage that we are. Uh, we are now, if I'm not mistaken, with 400 and something uh, uh, users uh, playing the game, um, and yeah, people are start getting uh, some uh, very competitive uh, uh, inside of that game. I hope that uh, that you try it as well because it's it's lovely. You can create your own alliance, uh, have your own. Uh, um, your own guys that you can get message and then decide to attack this or that one. So it's a good place to keep the fights in, you know. <laughs> What's the market cap for for it now? Yeah, I will lie if I know, but I will I will say that will be around two hundred thousand, something like that. I have no idea. In terms of the of the token, I'm completely lost. So. Uh, I'm just trying. Is there, is there, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, one ninety-five to two hundred thousand? It's very small. Okay. So um, yeah, it's very small. So the the idea for the idea now is like we are a very very small team, and we are literally just focus on the on the creation of the of the game. So the token is there, a hundred percent that is there. It will be utilized. So the the idea that uh, the token uh, more than being mined inside of the game. You will be able to to buy stuff and sell stuff utilizing the token, and uh, anything that you 
uh, buy inside of the game, utilizing the, the, the native token of, of the game, that is Tritium, of course. 85% uh, uh, of that uh, value um, will be burned straight away. So imagine that, that uh, you are buying an NFT that will give you, I don't know, a power up, whatever, inside of the marketplace of the game. Uh, and it costs one Tritium. Okay, so uh, 0 0.85 uh, uh, Tritiums are burned straight away. So if we get massive adoption of of uh, of uh, people playing the game when uh, all of these um, uh, tools are in place, uh, the game will 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 burn eighty five percent of the tokens straight away. If we don't count in cycles, because then it's like it's, it's, it's exponential, you know. So um, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, the token. Uh, yeah, we are we are, we are really really focused on the game at the moment. But the yeah the token. It will grow. It's a very, very small market cap. Uh, we are thinking to do some marketing, but more to the front. Uh, we are uh, we are trying to do um, more listings in places regarding for people to play the game itself. We are trying to bring adoption of people that somehow they don't even know uh, crypto. So we want to make it like free for all and it's free for all to play for now. And it will be free for all, but you will get, you can buy stuff, of course, with 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 tokens. Um, but the idea is to bring more uh, outside community to 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 Terra Classic, utilizing the the, the platform of uh, Terra Tritium, and uh, that's why we want to give the perfect experience before we go um, completely maniac in terms of marketing um, to the to the outside community. But for now, we are just going slowly. But thank you, mate. Sounds good. Is there any plans to like incorporate Lunk or burn some UNC as well? Yeah, hundred percent. So, uh, like I said, the the one of the things that that uh, makes makes this game unique is the ability or the future ability to mine the token in the game itself. Uh, we want to give this this option to other tokens, not just treats, and of course Lunk. So uh, we'll allow people. Uh, to um, to mine uh, Lunk, yeah, and uh, even to buy stuff with Lunk, and then can they can be burned. So uh, yeah, uh, that Lunk can be burned if they utilize it in the game and other tokens as well. It depends on the on the on the on the teams that are behind them if they want to burn 85 like we do, uh, or if they want to burn even more or less is up to them as well. Awesome, thanks Vegas. Well, uh, good luck with it. If I get a chance, I'll play it as well. I really support any projects that's building um, uh, Terratrium, uh, whether it's uh, Juris, Terra Casino, Terraport, um, Garuda Universe, Elba, there's so many other projects. If, or, if, if any of these projects go mainstream or go viral, it's going to help Lunk. So um, support these projects. Obviously, I'll reach out to you again in a few weeks time to talk to you about USDC Repeg, um, uh, especially the USDC staking. I think that's something that we can focus on Vegas. And it'd be good to have you here at least a couple of times a month or every other week. Um, so thanks for coming. Um, anything else for you for, for you to add on Terratrium or USDC Repeg Vegas? Uh, no, I just uh, in terms of uh, Terratrium, I just want to to tell people be patient. Uh, the team is working um, really hard on the on the on the game. Um, is on stages, so um, it's not uh, a quick uh, investment, but I believe that will be a long investment. So uh, yeah, don't too stress on that. Regarding the USCC repeg, uh, we were just talking about uh, um, uh, ideas. I, I literally just received two ideas uh, regarding uh, different ways of uh, repegging uh, USCC. So this is really promising. I think people are really getting excited. So uh, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I just want to give a quick note regarding the the token, the Vegas token, that um, yeah, it's uh, the, the the only uh, the only um, purpose of that token, at least. The the uh, initial will be just for the the way that the the the, the node votes on the uh, on the um, on general uh, uh, governance proposals. Uh, I did not forget the airdrop. I was just trying to find a better way than do it it one by one manually uh, of my delegations. But yeah, that's I just want to let people know that I didn't forgot. I'm just on the way to try to find a better way to to do the airdrop. Thank you, mate, for having me here. Awesome. Thanks, Vegas. Uh, we'll, we'll show, I'm sure we'll speak maybe in a couple of weeks' time again. Rexy, um, let's talk about burning. What are we burning, Rexy? Uh, well, we're not burning enough, are we? 
Um, whatever it is we want to burn, we're not burning enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I've had a good chat with the developer team in Terra Casino and whether people know it within this space is or not, but Terra Casino has always burnt 0.2% uh, of all its bets. And this is the equivalent of what the burn tax was when Terra Casino first came to the chain. And it was applied to the, the off-chain bets. If, sorry, the off-chain the off funds that um, where the bets are kind of drawn from. However, if you're using Lunk to bet in the casino, you need to transfer it, if you like, off-chain. And you do that within the casino. And that attracts, uh, well, currently, half a percent burn tax. And if you win plenty and you win a withdrawal, you charge another half percent. So the casino um, generates quite a, quite a lot of burns. Um, but also it generates burns because whether you're using Bitcoin, Matic, F, BNB, USDT, or whatever it is, and there's lots of different tokens you can use, all of those attract this 0.2% burn tax. So that adds up. Okay, and, it, um, and over the last, what, 18 months, it's burnt tens and tens of thousands of dollars worth of lunk. I mean, I, d I don't know how much exactly. Um, it could be somewhere between probably 50 and $100,000 worth. Okay. So that's a significant amount. Um, and that's the on-chain. That's not the, um, sorry, that's the off-chain bets. Um, off-chain burns, if you like, they're generated through the betting. The funds that are burnt through increasing the volume on chain, and that's drawing people in. I'm not too sure how much that's uh, contributed, but I mean that could be that could be even more. Um, so anyway, we're talking about significant amounts of money here. However, you know, it it been occurring to me: is there a more effective way? of using these funds to support community. So it's all right burning lump, but when you've got um, absolutely hundreds of millions of dollars worth of lump to burn for us to get anywhere, and of course that's a, that's a changing milestone because the more you burn, providing there's actually demand, the more it costs you to burn a smaller amount in terms of individual lumps, you might say. So we kind of had a bit of a, bit of a brainstorm about it. And what we thought was probably a better idea was, and it'd be great for maybe Redline Drifter to do a bit of research on this. I'm sure he's probably even got the figures, you know, on the uh, tip of his tongue. But if you, for instance, was to burn $10,000 worth of lunk, you're probably not even going to know it, other than you'll probably see lunk metrics pick it up because they're absolutely fantastic at that. And Terra Casino would retweet it, and many other people were would do, and you'd probably get 50 to 100 likes on Twitter or X through that. Um, it'd show up on Stake Bin, and that'd be pretty much it. So the casino's not really getting a lot out of it for actually throwing all this money into supporting the community. Um, and the tokens that actually generate the most volume in the community in the casino aren't actually lunk. It's other things like F and Bitcoin and BNB. So it's a, bit of, it's a bit of a shame that the community has not supported the casino quite as much as, as what it could have done. And just to put that into context, there's other casinos that are in that chain and they are um, experienced. I'm not ex exactly sure how much, but you're talking probably getting on towards hundred million turnover a month and if Terra Casino had that kind of volume and this is from other communities out there um, so I'm not going to say which ones they are but there's other crypto communities out there that support their casino far better than what we support ours so if we was generating that amount of volume you know hundreds of millions a month you literally could be burning a million dollars worth of US um, million dollars worth of young lunk a month um, and that starts to become something a bit more significant you know, in terms of the value of it however and this is something yeah I mean I'd really appreciate you know Redline's view on this 
If you use what you're burning as um, leverage to help develop the ecosystem, I wonder whether that would also generate more volume, which would in turn lead to more burning. So therefore you'd get more kind of bang for your buck, so to speak, when you burn it. And to give you a worked example of that, let's assume, um, well, let's assume it was because, you know, Vegas is here. Let's assume he's going to burn tritium. And by burning, buying back and burning tritium, let's say, you know, a few times a week or every day, whatever it may be, that generated an increase in the price. And that meant that more people saw the price going up and thought, hang on, we've got a successful project here. I can maybe make some investment gains here. So therefore, they maybe brought fresh money into the ecosystem, attracting burns again and invested in. Then adding all that up, that could maybe result in more lunk being burnt than actually burning it directly. So this was part of the principle. The other side of that is... My but you're so can you hear me i can hear you rexy well you're not asleep then that's a good start uh <laughs> so can you hear me? i think you can carry on rexy we can we can hear you it might be just david who couldn't hear you can you hear anybody Red uh, yeah i can hear you yeah all right ah okay <laughs> um yeah, so um, so the, the other side of that is if we can show that there's projects in Terra Classic that are becoming more valuable and becoming more successful and that the community is supporting those projects and we're kind of working together, that might attract more developers in. That then increases the talent pool within Terra Classic. It gives more opportunity for projects to grow and become more successful. And if you could actually build this up um, so that you – pretty much had a, a scenario that was a bit like kind of Solana in terms of the amount of projects kind of starting and, and you know, getting an opportunity to thrive, then, you know, we've, it'd be a pretty good, you know, ecosystem to launch a project in. Um, yeah, like, can you hear me or? Yeah, I can yeah, hear you um, like you, you were raising the point there that the community hasn't supported um, Terra Casino, and I actually think a big part of our problem is that most, a lot of our holders don't use the chain at all. And I'd wager, just pro I'd say, at least ten percent of the people in this room probably don't even have a Terra wallet. Um, like I think we probably should maybe focus on getting people to use the chain and try. I don't know how we do that, but try and incentivize them to use the chain. Do you know what I mean? Maybe rather than directly burning it, you say, right, if you use the chain or play this game, we'll give you X lunk or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Or do something to attract people to use it. Um, like I even think with, with the likes of Joris and stuff like that, that it won't be the current user base or primarily the current user base that is going to use it. I, I think we're going to bring back the likes of old Luna and people that are into DeFi and stuff again, and it'll be outside investors that come back in. Um, the problem we have, a big problem we have currently is that a lot of our holders, they want, I'd say they just live on the, the sexes really, do you know what I mean? They don't actually use the blockchain for anything. Um, so maybe we need to incentivize them to use that, so maybe rather than directly burn and we try to get people to actually use the chain and by bringing funds on chain, that'll burning in itself yeah and that's kind of um i agree with you and that's kind of some of the logic that was behind this kind of strategy by helping developers increase let's say their market cap so let's say what was tritium did did vegas say something like about two hundred thousand market cap well i mean if you could get that to a million just by buying back and burning and generating an incentive for people to invest into it. And then that hits the media, CoinGape, and various other, um, you know, kind of digital magazines, I suppose you might say. Then that starts to generate an in interest. You know, come to Terra Classic, and you, you know, you might be able to get your bags pumped and, uh, you know, make a bit of a profit. 
And then as you get more people trading on chain and maybe using, you know, Terraport or TerraSwap or wherever these tokens are, are kind of created and, and traded, then that starts to generate um, on chain volume. And then you start to develop more of a, a dynamic and active and, and living ecosystem. Um, yeah, like we just need to really get people to actually use the chain rather than just watching the exchanges. Do you know what I mean? I, like I, I think we our biggest problem is that we have a community of holders, if that makes sense. No, that that goes to our benefit as well because you know, there are certain price points that we know that they're just not people just aren't selling. Like it, I think our price point a lot of the time is dictated more by market makers or Bitcoin or or the market makers tracking Bitcoin than anything else. Um, but yeah, we could do it. Like, I think that might be actually, uh, uh, if you could convince the community of it, that if you use some of the burns, maybe to give back to the community or give back to users, do you know what I mean? Um, and then might incentivize people to use the chain a bit more. I, uh, yeah, I think that should be something we maybe explore or talk about a bit more. Um, I'm not sure exactly how we do it, but yeah, I think it should be something we look at. Well, well, one thing I want to say, if you study what happened with Solana, um, with Demi. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, in terms of the uh, the funds that are going to be burned from the casino, I mean, there's, well, I've kind of discussed kind of what kind of level that is. Um, I think it's only fair that the casino is some kind of recognition for this. And the kind of criteria I think is using select token to burn is partly based on those that have maybe contributed to helping the ecosystem grow, um, other users, other, um, you know, projects and things like that, but also that have kind of helped support the casino as well, because if the casino is not supported, it can't generate the funds to, if you like, you know, buy back and burn other projects. Um, so I think the first project's pretty much been chosen. Um, there's criteria to meet to be a project um, that has its token bought back and burnt, so to speak. And the casino is going to be le releasing kind of kind of clues to what that token is um, pretty much over the the next week. Um, so that that sh that should help, particularly that token. And then of course. That helps the investors in that token. So you can kind of help, you know, quite a number of people. I mean, let's say you've got a token that had got 500 people that owned it. Then 500 people are benefiting from that burn if the price of that's, you know, um, encouraged to increase, so to speak. Um, also, I think within the casino, the, the decisions kind of made that there won't necessarily be a timeline on this. So it's not going to be like a one-off burn where you know, for one day and one day only, you know, a hundred dollars worth or a grand or five grand worth of this token is going to be bought and kind of pumped. It's going to be something that's, you know, going to happen over a, um, a kind of longer period, but that period is not defined. Um, so I guess to some, in some ways, it's maybe a little bit like the, the um, uh, Lump Burn project where you've got a bit of a pump and dump cycle. But the, the idea is that, you know, there is no dump cycle with this, that um, you need supporting projects that, you know, like I say, supporting others. So that'll be, uh, that'll be quite interesting, um, see where that goes. And I think the plan is also that, you know, we'll give people an heads up in terms of, um, you know, clues towards what the, the token is. As you engage with Terra Casino X account, over the week, um, you may pick up ideas of what that token is, which enables you to buy in a little bit cheaper. Um, also, there'll be clues within the actual, you know, Terracino website as well. And, or they could be on the, in the X account and in the website as well. Um, and that'll help people out. And then I think when the first kind of burn's pretty much going to be announced, um, I think there'll be a bit of a time period just before that as well, just to give people an opportunity to, you know, buy in. Um, but yeah, it's, it'll be an exciting experiment to see where it goes. And, you know, the, the token that's been chosen, that project token creator 
they're aware of this as well. Um, been working very closely with them for a few weeks now um, because something else that I think is important within this is if you're going to buy back a significant amount of a token to burn in and basically help promote it, then you want to minimise any risk of a developer or a team that owns that token thinking, do you know what, this has been pumped to, you know, a million market cap or whatever it may be, I'm just going to rug it. Um, because that just wouldn't be a good, um, it wouldn't be a wise choice of the casino funds. Um, it wouldn't be great for people that have invested in it. It wouldn't be great for the community because you don't want Terra Classic to be known for tokens that pump hard and then basically just get dumped and people scammed. So there's, you know, um, there's work that can be done with project and token holders to try to minimize the chances of that type of thing happening. Well, just to reiterate then, so there's going to be leaks or clues over the next week then from the Terra Casino website and the Terra Casino Twitter account to find out which meme coin it is. So people that are looking to gain some alpha, go follow Terra Casino, um, check their website. And I guess if you in trading, you want to be in before other people. Um, if you can find the leak before you could potentially get in earlier. And again, there's risk, like Rex has mentioned, the team and stuff, which Rex is working on to make sure it doesn't happen. Uh, there is chance that, if, if, from my point of view, I've actually bought a couple of meme coins, um, the popular ones. You've probably seen them come onto these spaces um, to see if they get it pushed. But it's a good initiative. Uh, good luck, Rex. So what do you think, Redline, would be the, would, the impact you guys hear of doing this as opposed to just directly burning lunk? Do you think it'll end up burning more long by taking this approach? Um, Redline, can you guys uh, hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear, I can hear you, uh, Rafa, yeah. Rexy, can you hear me? I think Rexy might not be able to hear me. Yeah, uh, Rexy, can you hear Rafa, yeah, or no? I can't hear Rocco, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, okay, uh, Redline, I'll let you talk, and then we'll start rounding up the stream in... I thought he'd gone to sleep. Can you hear him? Uh, yeah, I can hear him. He's been talking away there, you see. <laughs> oh, right. <okay. laughs> I can't really hear you. We've all just got a private can, line together. Can... Right? I don't know if anybody else can hear me then. Um, can you hear Rexy? I think Rocco can hear you. I think it's just you who can't hear Rocco, I think. Yeah, just get Rexy to leave and come back. <laughs> he can say what he likes now, can't he? Get away with it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not. I'll leave and I'll leave and come back. See if that see if it's me. Yeah, perfect. So I think it's. I mean, Rexy, uh, not Rexy, Redline, and the guys. I've been trying to push meme coins for a while, so uh, this could be something that works. Because um, you know, if people start seeing meme coins pumping in Luna Classic, there will be people that finds a way to go on chain, take their money out of Binance, and buy these meme coins. Happened with Solana, right? Not many people. Solana did more. Solana meme coins done more for crypto adoption. And again, I've lost money on it, so I don't s support it. Done more for crypto adoption than l thousands of Ethereum DeFi products that's been taking years to build. So, yeah, let's see if it can get a push. Uh, Redline, what's your thoughts on this sort of meme coin stuff? I know you're more UST, USTC and DeFi, but what's your thoughts on meme coins? Um, well, well, you know, like, like me, I, I'm not really a big fan of meme coins. Um, I, I'm in crypto really for the utility of it um, and to get away from traditional finance. I like the idea of decentralized money. That's why I'm in it. But at the same time, I, I, I do see how 80 to 90 percent of crypto is just meme coins and tokens that don't have utility. And I suppose it's about maybe these massive pumps that gets people involved in it and the potential of making massive money. I think that's probably really, really it, isn't it? Is it that there's the potential of something doing a thousand X or 10,000 X, you know, and you only have 50 quid in it. Um, I think that's what gets people excited. It's really that it's more a lottery than anything else. Um, uh, yeah, like personally, I I don't really invest in, in meme coins. Um, like I originally invested only in Joris or Rakoff because um, I, I knew what it was going to turn into. Um, <laughs> I, I I strictly stay away from meme coins. Um, but yeah, um, 
I, I do see they have a potential in the space to get people interested in it. No, no. Well, I pre- appreciate your honesty. And then one of the things to add to that is a lot of people get involved with meme coins and uh, potentially to make money. And then they diverse into DeFi. Like even for me, I got involved with, you know, Bitcoin, I could make money, Litecoin, because I was trading previously. And then I've, I've ended up in Luna and decentralized money. So it could be a way, an entry point, and then people look into other stuff. Um, okay, but, we'll start rounding well, up this. Sorry, go ahead. Actually just, can I just add to that? Just on the other side of that, then, like, while it might be an entry point, like it could be an exit point for a lot of people as well, because they get into the space, look at a meme coin and get rugged. Do you know what I mean? And then say crypto is just a scam and never buy anything again. Whereas if you buy into something with utility or something that's building towards something, do you know, like, Meme coins have their advantages, but they also have their disadvantages, especially with the number of rugs that are, like there's very few meme coins that actually make it. Like if if we're honest, um, and like for me personally, I I hope that the crypto space eventually grows out of meme coins over the next kind of five years, and I'd imagine it'll move rapidly more towards utility. And I I see actually NFTs becoming massive, but not as pictures and stuff like that. I see them becoming massive as like um. Just basically like tokenized assets, like whether it be a house or a contract or whatever. I, I see NFTs being used for that, um, and that's kind of where I see the space moving. But yeah, I, I hope that's the way forward. But if you if you look at the metric, especially in the US metrics of TikTok and Instagram Live, um, meme coins are getting more and more popular. If you look at gambling as well, going back to what Rex is doing with Terra Casino. Um, so the gambling is li- literally blown up with fantasy teams in America and the metrics and the numbers are ridiculous. Um, so I think that would be, I mean, I want DeFi, right? I've invested in protocols in DeFi and I think I spoke to you, I showed you a RWA type-ish project and I'm looking at more projects with potential utility. But I think meme coins and um, this sort of gambling of meme coins would would probably only grow, uh, but that's my opinion. I've lost money on sort of memes. I'm not telling you guys to buy buy sort of memes. I'm, I'm on, I want utility, like Redline says. But I think looking at metrics, I think it will only grow. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hey, Goku Pella, you've been on the spaces for a while. Um, we're gonna finish this stream of spaces in the next five ten minutes. Have you got anything to add, mate? Goku Pella, are you there? Okay, you might not be there. Rexy, let's see if we can hear you again. Yeah, I've been listening. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what went there. I kind of uh, I kind of left and came back, and then, you know, I could hear this angelic voice coming from you. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, maybe we'll take one question from David, um, and then we'll start rounding up. David, how are you doing? Hi, Rocco. I'm, I'm okay. How are you? Tired or... And do you have yeah, tired has been a long space. It's for going for two minutes. hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I've been too many viewers. So I, I just wanted to to maybe add to what Redline Drifter said because he said that we should focus on on getting people that are having their lung on chain to, to actually use it. So, sorry, that are having their lung on CX CXs to actually use it on chain. And and my question would be how can we expect, and I even wrote the question on, I, po- I posted the question on the chat so you can get back to it, how we can expect people who have long on CXS to, to use chain itself if they do not have a way to find out that anything can be done in chain actually, unless they are deep within access, discords, diluted, and, and, and telegrams, etc. Because on, on Binance, Binance leads to Terra, um, um, to Terra with money, TFL, uh, coin market card, coin market card, and everybody else leads to uh, Terra with money uh, on Google. On the f- all the first two pages are uh, in CX is on the first page of my Google. The first actual normal website it is Terra with money website. So ha, I don't want to start any 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 war right now. Any 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 long discussion because you don't have time. You're you are tired. It's last five minutes, but. But we don't. We should not expect that anybody will be using uh, this chain if if it's only you know closed closed circle of people who are who are who know actually what happens, what are the the products and and L twos and and games etc. If any every everybody else from outside points to to place where you can find anything, 
about Terra Classic, and even Google can help you with this one. So, so I I will leave this as you know something to to think about when you will be going to sleep or you know having a beer this day or whatever. So just to add to my couple of cents, maybe we can start discussion about this on on X. But it's something to think about. I just wanted to add this. Thank you very much. I think it's a question for you, Redline, but for, for me, for my two cents would be, we need to give a reason for people to come on chain. It could be meme coins. Again, I know it's a controversial topic. Some people don't like it. It could be utility. Like during the Luna, well, I got involved in Luna because um, I saw what Anchor Protocol was doing. It's a DeFi project, stable coin, you get 20%. I found a way to move my money. Again, I've been in crypto, so it was easy for me. But I think it's more rather than in articles, websites, YouTube videos, whatever, the key thing is the demand. It needs to, we need to give people a reason um, to move their money on chain. Um, Redline, have you got anything to add to that? Um, yeah, I think he's more say, uh, speaking about the fact that like we don't have a website or that we don't have a place for people to go to see, like a, a central location for people to go that has a list of all our dApps or games or whatever, or, or the projects that are on Lunk. Um, and he doesn't point. Uh, so I, I, I know he's looking at building a website, but hosting the website is is a problem in itself. In terms of who owns the website, who hosts it, you know, you need a centralized. Like you can't really do that in a decentralized manner. Now I saw somebody recently said that you can actually host a site through GitHub. Um, I don't know if that's something you've looked into, David. Um. But maybe there's something we could do there like that. Um, and like, I, yeah, like, I do think we should have some sort of location where people can, can, you know, advertise their projects, some sort of central location or hope that people can go to. Um, now, whether that's a website or a wallet, I don't know what that should be. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like, like meme coins too, maybe like red, red, red line drifter, um, but people like this and people like games or other things that I also don't use. But there are there is big number of people who were you know went to Binance, bought Lung because of the fact that it has beautiful, big, hopefully the greatest comeback potential ever. Even the chances probably the smallest, right? But people bought because of that. And now they don't have a chance to find out anything about Terra Classic. If they were, don't have any connections on, on whatever, they can't find anything because Binance points to Terra the money. Everybody points to Terra the money, and there's nothing about Terra Classic there. Not even link to to anything. Uh, maybe well, actually, Telegram, but it just actually, if I can interrupt you on that point, as far as I know, so. So TFL are selling all their assets, and as far as I know, there's a group going to take over called Terra Alliance or something like that, and they're going to take over from TFL, and I presume take over the website and hosting and stuff like that. But the the, peop the people that are involved in it are part of the the old Luna say, and I, I don't think they'd have issue with pointing pointing to a Terra dot classic do you know what i mean or uh, so hopefully I, hopefully i asked i asked you know um chris armani on, on his face you know about this so i i patiently wait for what he will said he will do and he will inform the community about the domain and the website because i specifically asked about this but so far at least from my knowledge there is zero zero uh, you know radio silence unless you've got some kind of inside info that i don't have i did I follow him like and I don't have any information. I haven't seen anything about website or domain on his ex. So my, I, I, I might have missed something, but maybe you've got information that I'm not, I, I don't have access to, right? But in, in general, it's about finding what Terra Classic is right now and what can be done on Terra Classic. And unless you are a friend of a friend and you are deep and you wanted to go very deep into following multiple people, finding telegrams and checking tens of thousands of, of them and discords, you, you don't have a chance, a good chance to, to you know, find Terra Tritium or, or whatever, really, that's the case. Um, yeah, like before we used to have Agora and that used to be where a lot of people 
went and ever since the transition to Commonwealth, I don't think there's really been much activity on those. Um, so like maybe a forum would be the thing to develop, but like as well as a central orbit, like would be some sort of forum um, other than Commonwealth or, you know, maybe redesign Commonwealth that it's a bit more attractive for people to use. Well, I think there's, um, I think there's another approach to this. Um, that not saying that it'd be better than than that, um, and I think it become quite apparent as a as a kind of explain it. If we all had our own shop, and within that shop we all had one product, you probably won't get that many people come to your shop unless they specifically just wanted that product. But if you've all got like a a supermarket chain, and within there you might have your product, but actually you're showcasing everybody else's product as well then you're going to get people passing by that just take interest and see what's about. So I think in terms of Terra Classic being hit on Google searches and things like this, or Lunk, if you like, is by having as many products out there as possible and every validator and every um, kind of project, if you like, if they've got websites and if as many of those as possible connect to whether it's project tokens or other sites on Terra Classic and kind of showcase the breadth of what we've got to offer, then that will mean there's a greater chance that when somebody does a Google search, they will find a site that actually helps showcase the breadth of the community as opposed to just their one project, which will mean that a newcomer will actually look at that site and think, bloody hell, there's actually a fair amount here, isn't there? rather than just thinking I've just got this random project on this random blockchain that I heard of in the news a couple of years ago that, you know, collapsed. One one should not work without the other, right? So I agree with what you're saying. And if you go deep into Google, like fourth or fifth, sixth, seventh page, you will find those links because I did it for purpose. I researched it. So you will find some websites about look, but very deep into Google or some kind of look projects. But this is one thing, and I agree with you. The other thing is solving the problem of every other third party uh, linking to Terra that money. And the end problem involved with this one is if not to Terra that money to, to wear, right? So uh, I think that yeah, it's, I enough think for, it's, it's enough for today. Okay. I, I, think it, I think a solution to that could be that we just use the GitHub. And the GitHub is kind of controlled through kind of governance and just develop that. So something that Terraport uses um, is Gitbook, and that's where all the documentation is for that. Cool. Well, thank you guys for your input. Um, John David, uh, if it's a really quick one, I'll let you speak. Um, I know you've been waiting to speak for a while, but we're just finishing the stream. Yes, hi. Uh, it's uh, John David coming from Los Angeles. I've uh, been in the LUNC community for about two and a half years from the beginning of the crash and uh I, I don't just hold or trade whatever i i do stake and i believe in the long long run now uh one thing uh, uh you know we guys talked about meme coin i got into this uh crypto during the dogecoin and the shiba stuff pump and dumps you know those are just uh just pump and dumps for me but what's uh what's special for luna classic is we actually have a real blockchain and we have a lot of potential that was uh, manipulated, that was not, uh, it was mistreated. And uh, and I'm glad that it was picked up by the community. And I am super happy that we are supported by the number one blockchain, uh, number one uh, exchange, which is Binance. And now that CZ, you know, he's out of, gonna come out. Um, I've been asking this few places that uh, if we can make a, if we can make a proposal, I can pay for it uh, for CZ to uh, join our community. And as far as uh, counseling, guiding us with his, um, uh, you know, for what he has, the talent he has. And come on, we know that he's the Michael Jackson or the Frank Sinatra of crypto. And, and, and we know that he supports uh, our community and he believes in, you know, what we have going on. And uh, and I think it will be a great, great, great one. That would be a very, very big uh, hope for all of our loom holders. But uh, I, I'm not a computer guy, and I'm not a you know I don't do codes and stuff. But uh, I do have 
uh, I can uh, dedicate or I can donate my uh, five million Luke to make this happen. And I, I, I honestly assure you it will work and it would be a super duper big catalyst. And, and he, in my opinion, would accept and it'll be good for us. We're still going to be decentralized and everything, but we're going to have a guidance. We're not running around like a chicken with no head, you know, all over the place and, and trying to do what we can do, you know. So thank you for the opportunity for letting me ask my question or speak my opinion. Rexy, you want to take that and maybe end the stream? Yeah, I think it's a. I think it's a. I think it's an idea, and I think it could be a good idea. Um, I guess only time would tell. It's a. I think CZ had an affinity with the chain. I think he'd have liked to have seen um, TFL take a different approach after the crash, and I think he tweeted along them lines as well. Um, and I. You know, I suspect he would like to see it, it recover. Um, I'm not too sure on the legal side of things that I think when he left Binance as part of that agreement, and there's probably some kind of mitigation there to keep his sentence low, whether he's actually allowed to run a project in Web3 anymore. However, I don't think that John is necessarily saying that he wants CZ to run the project. I think he's more saying that CZ would be a nice figurehead for people to run. I'm sorry. I don't mean running the project. The project will be ran by community. Uh, he's just going to be a guidance or counselor or have an, his opinion yeah, that the community of, can consider and going to what we do best, and uh, that's voting. Yeah, and I think also he'd be a figurehead, and I think he would attract a lot of people a lot of people to the chain. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be against a proposal like that. I think you'd have to be careful how you worded it, but um, you, know, you can always ask. I like your enthusiasm, but I don't think it worked. There's millions of projects with a lot more money that could pay him a lot more money to join and be an advisor, you know, paid advisory tokens and all this stuff. Um, so, yeah, I don't think Absolute. it will work, but good luck. Absolutely. Absolutely, but uh, uh, he, from the beginning, was in favor of the burning of our uh, coin, you know, of taxing and burning our coins, and uh, and other projects he could have done, or Binance can could have done, but they don't, other than their their own. So yeah, so I think there's something there that uh, I believe that we will we can get the support because we have we've been getting the support it's yeah. not like uh, you know we're asking for something that's never been done the support is there the question is uh, you know if we can get a, 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 just an advisor like i said not not run the chain or anything absolutely not it's it's an advisor counselor somebody that can have his opinion and we can you know listen to then think and then we do what we do. We vote. I asked this with the Happy Caddy Crypto to do, hopefully. But uh, we have to do this, uh, and we got to get, you know, we have something amazing that's that's not being utilized. And, uh, and you know, you guys and we, you know, you guys and uh, we investors, we, we believe in that. So let's, let's, get, let's get the ball rolling, guys. Let's get it going. I mean, two and a half years of doing what we're doing, which is great bonding a community creating a community and and now it's time to take action you know no, appreciate your opinion uh john david um again if someone wants to take the initiative i support it but it's probably a long shot but i'd like your enthusiasm and um see what happens but no guys we've been going on for about an hour and two, two hours now um hopefully you guys enjoyed the spaces um redline rexy you guys want to add anything before we finish uh no not really just uh Thanks for having me up here, and it's uh, great to see people you no know, drama in the spaces, and people we're kind of seem to be moving towards a collective direction. Always a pleasure, Rexy. Uh, yeah, I think again, I think it's been a uh, positive and constructive space, um, which is you know something you seem to be getting in the habit of of kind of chairing, which I think is great. Um, and I guess the final thing is um, from us. 
you know, with the with the casino going to start uh, targeting tokens to burn um, if you're in the um, if the if you're in the mindset of wanting to you know take a bit of a punt on a, a token and maybe make yourself a um, take advantage of a 10x or a possible under x or something like that. You know, keep an eye on this, keep an eye on the casino, and um, you know you might just find your lucky token. Are there any Telegram groups or any other places where can people go in to keep updated with this? Um, like I say, the the Terra Casino X account or Twitter account, you know, I think will have the odd kind of clue on. Um, and also, you know, possibly within the uh, casino website as well. Um, there's um, Terra C Vita kind of community. Um, you know, there's probably... There's probably going to be indicators in there. I should imagine, actually, if you really was a detective, you know, um, and I don't really want to um, let the cat out of the bag, but I think if you really was a detective, there's probably enough kind of clues out there that, you know, you you could probably work out who it is already. Um, like I say, you know, part of the criteria will be, you know, people that are supporting the casino. And, you know, I think there's a clue there in itself. Cool. Well, we'll look forward to it. Maybe next week as we can talk a bit more. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Long spaces about U uh, USCC repack stuff. I'll reach out to some of the other key people uh, that's made the other repack proposal. And uh, maybe next week we can have another discussion. And hopefully we have Redline because he'll probably be able to question better on the USCC repack stuff than me. But thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, it's our weekly spaces. We'll do it usually on a Sunday. If we can't do Sunday, we do it on a Wednesday. But we'll catch you guys next week. Thank you all for tuning in. Good night.